So it's me, your little boy, Kisamsin. I have something special to give us today. Uh, the truth is this. <laughs> As long as you are choosing, you are a star seed, they will surely hate you. <laughs> you know, sometimes many of us feel bad whenever we see some categories of people who hate or not. <laughs> this train is so big. Whenever we see categories of people who truly hate us, we feel bad of ourselves. So the truth is this. As long as you are a, what, a choosing, as long as you are a choosing, you must surely have people who will hate you unconditionally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You will have a lot of people who will hate you, who will start to talk bad of you, who will start to say all manners of word against you. You know what I'm saying? So they will surely hate you, believe me. You, you don't expect them to like you. <laughs> because if, for instance, you are not a star seed like you, you are not a star seed, they will not hate have anything to do or to talk about you. But as long as you are a star seed, you are so important, you are so great, they must surely, surely hate on you. So people will hate you as long as they see you as someone who is going to be greater than them, who is going to be unique than them, who is going to be more you know, more, more special than them, they must surely hate you. So, people will never love you as long as you are not under what they are thinking of. You know what I'm saying? So, as long as you are, you are a star to the world, you are going to be famous. And when, I, when I mean famous, when God anoints you as a star seed, that simply means you are going to be famous, believe me. <laughs> It can only take a time, you know what I'm saying? It can only take some time. But when God ordained you as a star seed, you must surely be famous. So that will surely annoy a lot of people. That will, that will make a lot of people to become so mad, frustrated, because they are not a star seed like you. And that really frustrated them. Because whenever they see you, whenever they see your life, they see all that they pray and all that they ought and all that they are dreaming to be. So that really frustrates them because they see themselves as a low self-esteem. And that is why many of them will start to deny you. <laughs> Believe me, that's why some of them will tell you we don't we, we, we don't know we, we don't we don't know him we don't know him we don't know him. even if it's your blood brother some of them will start to tell outsiders it's our brother but but it's not you know it's our brother but uh, uh, there's something that you know that he do he do used to do that we we don't like. Uh, uh, he, 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 he's not genuine, you know. He, he's not genuine. He's this and that. Uh, uh, he, he's our brother. He's, he's our brother, you know. He's our brother. But uh, there's something we hate about him. There's something we don't like about him. Uh, anytime he will just be proud, proud, you know, making himself like he is the he he, he is more important than each of or any of us. He is more relevant than any of us, and and that is why we don't we don't like him. He, he is always making making life life look like he is the one do, doing it. <laughs> Because they, they do it why they are saying all these things. Because they truly really know that you are a star seed and they are not. So that is why they will surely hate on you. So as long as you are a star seed, they have every reason to hate you. <laughs> Even when you don't hurt them, you never, you know, when you never did anything wrong. But that word, you are a star seed, you are a choosing, you have something big that you have dropped that makes them to hate you. So many people will hate you as long as you are not a garbage like them. You are not a failure, you are not a loser. So the moment you get discovered that you are a star seed like Joseph, <laughs> your matter is already on the table, on the top of the table that they sign and write it. You know what I'm saying? So the moment they see you as a choosing and you are a star seed and they are not, and even if they have purpose, they have dream, Let's, let's be real. I have seen a lot of people who have everything, but yet they are still jealous of the rest of others. Believe me, there was a man that there was a question that I asked one of my friends. I said, Why is it that this man particularly is always angry? He's only able to give you all 
range. When he see you, maybe you go work with him, and he see you plugging people orange. Maybe you, the place where you are working, the man that you are working with in that particular place, where he carries you to go and work, the man have like orange or any fruit that you can just eat instantly to make to do to make yourself feel good. To do or maybe you are you are you are, you are, you are hungry or you are thirsty, you decide to go and fresh one. The man will become angry. I'll just be telling them why is it that? And that was last year, earlier last year. They plucked a very big one, a very big watermelon. Then I was like, hey, Master, can we carry this watermelon? We are many here. Can we divide this? Can we eat it? The man become so angry, so mad. He said, No, nobody should touch my watermelon. Nobody should touch my watermelon. Nobody will touch it. Nobody will touch that. And at the end of the week, we come to figure out that they didn't eat the watermelon. It just wasted like that. It just wasted. Why? Because of envy. You know, there are some people who will see your, your potential, who see how glorious, how marvelous you are created, who see that there's something in you that they don't have, that they lack in them, that there's something special in you that they lack in them. Many of them will be mad. Believe me, they will be frustrated. Why? Because that is not the auction. That is never what they thought. So the moment they start to figure out that you are a star seed, <laughs> you even if without you saying a word, they have already hate you. If that's why, that's why sometimes brothers, that's why you just say one word, they will turn it to become millions of words. Let's be real. We have a lot of people. Only one word you say. People have been talking, you know, contributing word. People have been saying, no issue, no problem, nothing to bargain, nothing to discuss, no pro, no, no problem at all. Everywhere become quiet. But the moment you throw one seed as a choosing, the moment you say one word as a choosing, it becomes like a broadcast. <laughs> it becomes like a broadcast. It will just be like you have put a fire in a house. But the rest of all of us have been talking, you know, saying, you know, laughing, doing you know, something. But the moment you laugh or you do something, you got to understand that everywhere will just blow. Everywhere trouble will just curse. It will just be like a, a trumpet. <laughs> Why? Because your word annoyed them. Your doing annoyed them. You are a star seed, annoy them. You are a choosing, annoy them. Everything about you annoy them because they can't get to your level. They can never dream or come to a point where they can be like you. And that really frustrates them. That really hurts them. Because despite of all that they have done behind the scene to be like you, they keep failing. So that is the exact reason why they will surely hate you unconditionally. They will hate you unconditionally as long as there can be you. And I'm saying so, remember, blessed, may God bless you. If you have not subscribed, can you subscribe and thumbs up the bell? You are saying so, I love you all. I'm just on my way. I want to go and buy African food. So that is the reason why I decided to hang here and be doing videos. So remember, blessed, may God bless you.